Vladimir, thank you very much for thank coming. You for the and the floor is yours. <laughs> By the way, I'll, I'll be sending to you My books. two books that yeah. Vladimir published. They so are in Czech and English. Both, and they are with my paintings, and, and even the text is mine, so you can you can uh, see some parts of it. I will speak about it a little bit. So, dear friends, uh, I will tell you something about my artwork, uh, uh, which is as I have, I have been uh, uh, listening to the previous lectures. Uh, I was in, in my childhood very much, I think, inspired by work of Pratiše Kuka and Pratiše Tertikol and Montreal and uh, Kandinsky, as I think, and William Blake maybe. So these are the most important artists for me, personally. Uh, and it will be about my, uh, my artwork, which is very much inspired by Hermetic symbolism and Tarot symbolism. Uh, so you can, you can find some parts of it in, in my artwork. Uh, No, we have. I have uh, forgotten to share the screen with our online audience. Uh -huh. now, we, okay. now, it, now we now we now we So I'm a graduate of Musur Vrtete Graz, Janáček's Academy of Arts in Brno and uh, and uh, Schuft uh, in Brno. So I'm a painter, uh, performer, and I have written two books. Uh, I had realized over 100 exhibitions. Uh, one was in Biennale of Modern Art in Florence, Prague Modernal, and, and other Berlin Vienna Leipzig, and more others. And I do even the wall paintings. I did the biggest wall painting in the uh, Czech Republic, uh, which is 600 square meters big, and it's, it's called uh, Gate of Heavens. And it's, it's passing through four uh, elements, so it's like a way through the elements. You, and even it's an interesting place because it's on the railway station so there are people passing by twice a day or more times a day so they go through the elements twice a day and some of them are really enjoying it because they know even the story what it is and what it means so that they like it quite well and other my wall paintings are in Florence, Copenhagen, Edinburgh and Prague and, and I was awarded a uh, prize for new B which is for uh, artistic and scientific endeavor associated with the work of Richard Wagner, which was uh, partly for this book, uh, which is called Mysteries of Richard Wagner in Paintings, which I published in 2013. And it's, uh, it's about, uh, it's like an analysis of these 13 operas of Wagner with my paintings, and in the, in the, in the type of, or in the way of uh, anthroposophic, uh, it's very much, in, uh, Wagner's work was very much influenced by Hermetism and then after even uh, Rob Steiner and, and Jung analyzed this work a lot so it's in, the, in this type of analysis of Wagner and uh, I won some, some prize of, in interaction in the Theatre Festival in Casablanca in Morocco uh, and uh, these are the two books I published first one was about Wagner and the second one is Mysteries Inscribed in Faces and it's a book, uh, 22 personalities, uh, 22 composers, writers and uh, philosophers which, uh, which I chose as 22 cards of uh, Big Arcana of Tarot, so 21 and 0 uh, which I find as a, as a sign, as a, as a, uh, here I have it uh, it, it reflects for me the, the Hebrew alphabet, the 22 letters, 22 personalities and uh, they are for me like the archetypes of human nature, so different parts of how you, see, how you can see, how you can uh, do your life or realize your life. Uh, and uh, then I do a lot of the uh, live painting performances on concerts of classical music, which I make on stage with, with orchestra, with a projection of my painting live on stage. Uh, and it's very often with music of Bach and Wagner and, and so spiritual music mostly. And uh, I'm a friend of uh, Madame, uh, Madame Latkova, which was a, was a great, uh, as you know, a great mercenary of Franciszek Kupka. And she has both, both my books, books, so she's quite a... Uh, we, I know her like seven years, so... Uh, yeah, so I, when maybe after a break I can... Uh, 
part after my lecture I can tell something more to the book. I will not, not speak about it too much. And now we start with paintings. And I will tell you something about uh, the painting. This is the early style of mine, which is very symbolic. And uh, this is uh, Bacchanale, it's an opera of uh, Tannhäuser from Richard Wagner. So it's the, uh, it's, it's the real scene in theater, which uh, actually can be made on stage, because it's not possible in the theater. Uh, so uh, the, the green waterfall is a spring. The men are coming into the cave like a spring, like a green waterfall, and the, it's a Venus cave, uh, so it's like an orgiastic dance. Or, yeah. And there is, a, there is a beam of light coming to awake Tannhäuser, who is sleeping in the womb of, of Venus. So, yeah, that, and you can see this, this, these symbols like pentagram and, and rail and, uh, and uh, this tree of wisdom or a fountain of wisdom and, and many other things and the cave is, is a labyrinth so it's inside the, the labyrinth the cave is a labyrinth <coughs> yeah this is the, another painting rose and it's a mystical rose uh, in the middle of the labyrinth so the spiritual pilgrims are coming to the, to the center of the labyrinth and then coming up on the uh, ladders or, or just levitating. Uh, there are many uh, symbols from tarot or alchemistic symbols. And then the rose plates are in the count of one, three, five, six, seven. So it's like uh, each of it is it's meaning Trinity, Pentagram, Flower of Life, Seven Pointed Master, uh, Master Star, or, or other symbols. And it's, uh, this is, for example, inspired by Wagner's Parsifal, but it can be related to another alchemistic work. So, uh, this is the Rite of the Valkyries, as you know from Richard Wagner, the famous uh, first girl to the third act of Valkyrie. And uh, in this time, I combined very, uh, very often all the mythologies together. So it's the Greek mythology, uh, Pegasus and the Unicorn, uh, and the Valkyries are flying on them and, uh, and taking the dead heroes to Valhalla uh, where, they, where they celebrate, as you know, and drink and, and celebrate with, with Valkyries so the hymn of, as you know, the Germanic hymn uh, or the Valhalla is much more orgiastic than the Christian one uh, This is the last feast of love or last supper uh, which is a painting or the theme which I do almost every year I make new painting Last Supper so I, I, I have done like 12 of them already so this is the first one and there is an alchemical hermaphrodite in the center uh, unity of uh, man and woman uh, floating in the middle of the round table and the chain of united brothers hands of hermaphrodite are in the shape of two oppositely aiming triangles square and compass, fire and water, unity of composites. So it's very often this, this type of composition which I make again and again in different ways. Uh, the Last Supper or the Creed's Death. Uh, in the middle at the table is the figure of the Savior which is united with his female opposite, sun and moon, Christ and the Mandela and Parsifal and Kundry. In their center is the Grail. The table is covered with the Zen Garden of Eternity. Ancient cow Aukumla is under the table, and Loki or Antichrist is uh, igniting the table already. Above them is the in the crown of the tree is glowing Delta with uh, throning Wotan, with the eye in his belly and broken spear on his lap, meditating as Buddha. He renounced power over the world for love. Uh, power of love winning over love for power. So this is very, very typical painting of this period, which, which I do. Uh, this is the, again the Last Supper, and it's a very strongly diagonal scene, uh, it, and it shows how the idea of Last Supper is realized among men. So there is on the wall the previous painting Last Supper, as you see, like, like idea and then the realization. Uh, Christ stands uh, by the table in the same position as on the painting on the wall.
on the top right in front of him is the grail and the bounded lamp. The men by the table are listening, they eat, sleep and strangling, uh, are strangling others and are sitting on more people under them. A woman on the right is tripping uh, up a leg of uh, a woman with a grenade, which is pointing on the Magdalene by Christ, scattering money from the heads of other men. So, this was another Last Supper. Uh, then there is a painting models. Uh, in, the, in the center is the angel with a pair of scales. In the red triangle, upwards rises the pair of in love, down falls the opposite side with the selfish girl taking selfie. In the middle sits the queen of beauty uh, with wide open peacock tail, eating men and sitting on the running wheel for hamsters. On the left uh, uh, are fighting uh, selfish models. On the right, a lighthouse towards which a man is heading, carrying a picture of love from the center away and leaving the scene. So, and this is the, the biggest of the, those uh, paintings which I did in this period. A Polyptychon, the world and the seasons. And it's almost 4 meters wide and 2 meters high. And it's the most, most, uh, uh, in, most influenced by Hieronymus Bosch, as you see, this disciple. Uh, it's it contains six parts, uh, four representing the seasons, two representing hermits and saints. Uh, on the down left is spring, a fountain of eternal youth and tree of life. Into the bath the old are coming, living as young and beautiful. Down in the middle summer, wheat grow around about and children in the roles of adults. Story of Daedalus and Icarus on the top. Down right is Autumn, with inflatable castle in the shape of open mouth, into which the crowds uh, with blind sticks are coming. On the top in the center is Winter, with bearing the cross and temptation of Saint Anthony, and signs of zodiac and planets. Uh, and here are the, some of the portraits of composers, which are in the second book I, I did. On the left is uh, Šenáček, in the center is uh, Rimsky Korzakov, and on the right is uh, Claudio Monteverdi, uh, in the role uh, of like uh, the fool from Tarot, so number zero. And uh, as, as, a for, uh, as, as a part, is, is a, it was born as a bull, so there are parts of Zodiac and, and other symbols. Uh, on the left is Dmitry Shostakovich, in the center Oliver Messien, the two composers. And on the right is Jan Amos Komensky, uh, and Labyrinth of the World and Paradise of Heart and Rose, so the, the Rosicrucian symbolism. Uh, this is the portrait of Dante Alighieri. Uh, Dante with chaplet of laurels of a poet, white rose blooming from his head, with his heart opening. Hair of uh, Beatrice around him. On the right, uh, the plan of Divine Comedy, Hell, Purgatory and Paradise, painted as the journey of purification through the human body, uh, through chakras and planets upwards into the unity of mystical rose. So, it's the whole uh, uh, Divine Comedy is like a journey through the body up, upwards. A portrait of Johann Wolfgang Goethe, a spouse, Surrounded by triangle, circle, and square, his body is made from connection opposites, uh, connected opposites, and all elements: earth, stones, minerals, water sources, fire, and air on his collar. He is uh, leaning on the skull of his friend Schiller. Uh, it represents connection of opposites of life and death, highest wisdom. Uh, and here begins the the new. Uh, type of paintings which I do, which are expressive, which are differently done, a different, different technique. Uh, this is called Hero of the Heart. It's from 2010. Uh, and it's, uh, it's the series of paintings which are expressionistic and it's there capturing directly the energy of the music and spirit. So they are more like energetic paintings. Uh, it shows the awakening of spiritual heart inside which the sun is born. Hence, in the gesture of white, uh, in, in a gesture wide open, 
embracing the whole world in love. So you can see it as, as a Christ or anything, as you wish. Uh, this is the painting called, called Infinitum, and it's a cycle of paintings which are did, which I did live on the concerts of classical music. So this was painted on Fifth Symphony of Anton Bruckner, uh, and it's it's uh, it's a it's a point in music when all diverse themes uh, collide and are united into one one burst of radiant whole unity. Uh, redemption through artwork unity universal. So this is the type of uh, personalities which are redeemed by their artwork or somehow their, their artwork is a journey. Uh, and this is again the same composition in another painting, only uh, the same the same moment. And these are the paintings which are more like uh, meditative Paintings. It can be uh, used even as a tarot cards or just some some symbolic meditative pieces. This is called Harmony of Truth, and it's a unity of masculine and feminine principles, delta and yoni. Uh, this is Madonna from 2019. Uh, mother thinking about a child which is and is not there. Uh, it's empty space in one. Uh, with surrounding blue of the cosmos, breastfeeding Madonna. And these are, and even I very often made uh, paintings as opposites. So this is a woman as mountain on the left, and on the right is woman as valley. Uh, valley. So it's like uh, one is representing a role of giving principle, a uh, triangle pointing upwards as a mountain, with source of knowledge and two obelisks, wisdom, Sophia. And the other, another one is a uh, woman receiving as Wally, uh, open towards universe. And yeah, I didn't, mean, I didn't uh, mention Nicholas Rerich, uh, which is one of my favorite art artists too. So I think you can uh, find some similarities with Rerich or, or Tertikol or such, such type of artists. Uh, this is inspired by uh, uh, a poem, poem of ecstasy by Nikolai Skriabin. Uh, woman in levitation with golden flame of hair bursting from her neck. Unity of microcosm and uh, microcosm in human being. And those paintings are two meters big, so it looks quite small, but there are many organic details inside. Uh, this is called Love or Last Supper, a uh, savior with arms in the form of a triangle, grail in form of a flaming bowl or a heart in front of him. Uh, blood of sacrifice bursting out of him in the circle, Christ and Buddha. Uh, this is called Brotherhood, its unity of light and darkness, circle of unity. Blooming stone, and there are there is a cycle of paintings where the center is a stone, as a heart or a soul, uh, a pur pur purification. And the hand man initiated hands upwards, carried by the all of secret knowledge, blindfolded, submerged in the lunar sphere and darkness. So that's one of the tarot pieces. And these are the lovers. Duel of sun and moon. Again, a connection of opposite triangles. Red man is shield has a shield of a silver moon, and silver woman has a shield of the golden sun. So they have changed. Uh, Last supper from this year. Uh, savior with open arms in the form of a triangle. Mystical rose bursted from his heart. So Again, the connection of these this, uh, pieces, which I did last time, uh, they are connection of uh, figurative and abstract together. So you can see some parts which are figurative or concrete, and the rest is abstract. And this is the exhibition which I had in Brno in one gallery, uh, where I tried to install them like a film tape. So they are very near, and they, they make such quite quite a story together.
uh, Hand of Mysteries on the left and uh, uh, Blessing or Rabbi's Greeting on the right. And this is the triptych of the Firebird after uh, Stravinsky composition. Uh, three philosophical stages of the work, beginning and climax and meditative ending, dialogue of a man as a square and unlimited universe. So, last, one of the last pieces. And th these are the photos of a performance which I did in uh, Gustav Mahler's gallery in Hava. Uh, and it was filmed uh, and it was some, some online like, exhibited uh, TV channels. Live streaming. It was live streaming, yeah, yeah. So this is painted on the plexiglass. So this is how my performances look like. But usually I make it on stage with musicians. And this was in time of uh, quarantine. So it was without public, only live streaming. So there, there is no public. Yeah, and this is the, those are the paintings, as I said, on the plexiglass, they are hanging in the space, not on the wall, but they are like objects, like sculptures. So these paintings are inspired by music of Gustav Mahler or Anton Bruckner. All of them. Yes. Uh, what, what, how is the time? How much we have? Ten minutes. Ten, ten, yeah, okay. And this is one of the uh, last paintings which is very much, I think, inspired by Kupka. And uh, it's, it's uh, the end of Gustav Mahler's Symphony Resurrection to this, this painting. It's quite, quite two meters high. Yeah, thank you for your attention. And now we have 